We have a very diverse coalition in the Democratic Party, but we've got to have some reach out as well to the blue collar voters. Those blue collar voters got to vote blue if we're ever going to take the House back. And I think there's going to be an opportunity. I mean, if there's a repeal of the health care bill, if there's a privatization of Medicare, if there's gutting of Medicaid, for example, a lot of people who are receiving benefits now are going to lose those benefits. And so we got to make the argument to them that the Democrats uh, are the party for them. Okay, Congressman, Goodyear, Firestone, people who live in bungalows, mm -hmm. two-family homes, blue-collar workers, black and white and Hispanic. Make the argument right now why they should remain or go back to the Democratic Party that has been with them since 1932. Make it. Well, I think we've got to stop talking to them about running computers and start talking to them about running backhoes and that manual labor is okay, that we want to rebuild the country mm. and put them back to work. You know, we talk to them about job retraining. No one wants to hear about job retraining. They want a job. They want a good job. They want to take a shower after work, not before work. They like what they do. They want to build things. And we got to get back to a strong manufacturing base. How do we use a renewable energy economy to uh, get us into in, in improving our manufacturing base? How do we use our defense industrial base like we have in Akron, which is also my congressional district, Spend our defense money here in the United States to make these things, the tier one, tier two, tier three suppliers. Democrats have to grab that idea of making things in America again and talk to those people about we want real jobs, not job retraining or not running computers, but running backhoes. So why don't you run just to make that argument more public? Well, we're having that conversation right now, and uh, you know we'll see what happens in the next couple of days.